tell a little story about myself. So for the past five years, I've been live streaming on Twitch and creating content on YouTube. And uh, several years, years ago, I did release a video, Day of a Live of a Streamer, where I showed my vehicle. So we're currently in my car, which is my car for four. I have this car more than five years. I got gifted it on my birthday uh, by my father. I think I was 20 when he did give me this car. I know it's not a super fancy car and it's like nothing special in it and it's kind of old and sounds like a trash can as you can hear and it's actually a manual manual I don't know how we say it but I have to switch the speeds manually um, but um, I love this car very much you know because it's 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 a gift first of all and uh, for me it's it suits me well you know I don't need anything else I don't need anything else so today I changed my mind and I decided that I want to buy my dream electric car I've been partnered with the G Fuel and I saved all the money from this partnership and today I'm buying one of these amazing vehicles. Tesla Model 3 and Porsche Taycan 4S. Today in this video, we're gonna have a drag race, track ride and draggy test from zero to 100 on this boat vehicles. And shout out to my fellow Stanislav for providing these two cars for this video. I already made an Instagram post asking you guys which car should I choose? And many were very negative and kind of toxic towards the Tesla. If you get Tesla, I will unsubscribe. Please, Porsche, I would have given my left nut for this car. Not Tesla, please. Porsche, obviously, you are not getting Tesla, right? And a lot of people also wrote, how can I even compare these two cars? But I understand you guys, when you pay $50,000 and you get this very simple and boring um, stock version of Tesla, but you have to understand that this car is fully modified and customized. This Tesla is way better than the stock version because of its body kit and this green wrap. It's super eye-catching and even now, when we were preparing to make this video, there were at least five people who just came and asked, can they make a picture of it? So in my opinion, you can compare these two cars because by buying Tesla Model 3, you save a lot of money and you get almost the same exact speed performance as Porsche Taycan 4S. So this specific Tesla has air suspension from Mazo Air and you can adjust the height of a car level either in an interior, either on the phone app. You can raise and lower your car and adjust the stiffness according to your needs. And ride quality specifically on this Tesla is way better compared to the original Tesla. I tried. I checked Tesla forums and I realized that a lot of users who have bought Tesla Model 3, they're not really satisfied with the suspension and 50% of the users are actually replacing it. And I don't understand why for the past five years they couldn't make a better suspension for the Tesla Model 3. Also, Tesla has technology, multimedia, computer, autopilot on the highest level. So if someone wants to buy a really fast electric vehicle, that's a deal breaker because you save a lot of money compared to the Porsche Taycan. Exterior of the Porsche is just amazing from the factory and you don't need to modify or remake it anyhow. Meanwhile, Tesla users are really obsessed with modifying their cars just to look a little bit more unique and different on the road. So this Porsche Taycan 4S with a performance battery plus 93 kilowatts has 400 kilometer range in summertime and 320 kilometer range in the winter time. And it has 562 horsepower with a launch control, which makes this car incredibly fast. The interior design in this car is on another level. You can see and feel that the fabrics are very expensive an audio system in this car is from Burmeister. And when I heard it for the first time, 
I just couldn't believe that it sounds so good. I mean, in Tesla, audio is also okay, but when you listen to the music in this car, you can feel dramatic difference. This car has a factory ear suspension with electric damper control, and I have never experienced such a smooth driving before. Even though we're having 21 run flat tires, which is not the best option, but big thumbs up for this one to Porsche. Taycan has a better panoramic roof compared to the uh, Tesla. It has massagers in the seat, head-up display, um, car, car play, and the best thing is that it has electric sport sound. And it doesn't come from the interior, it comes from outside. So whenever you accelerate, it makes this incredible sound and everyone is literally turning around and looking because it doesn't sound like a traditional gas car. I know that there is an electric sound in e BMW i4, uh, which is written by Hans Zimmer, by the way, big fan. Um, but I couldn't hear it uh, from outside in that car. I could only hear it from the inside. And I think that in Porsche Taycan, the electric uh, sound is way more impressive. So we are currently driving a Tesla Model 3 and I must say about the design, I do really like this design a lot because it's super minimalistic, there is nothing uh, what's bothering you, there's this, this one screen where you can control your vehicle and that's pretty much it. Obviously the fabrics are not as fancy but still. You can play Spotify directly from the computer, you can also use camera as well as driving so you can see your back camera on the monitor here, which is just an amazing feature and I don't understand why other cars doesn't have it. And the best and my favorite feature about this car is the autopilot. Autopilot in this car is the best one in the world. Also there is a carbon a steering wheel here and it feels very solid and special uh, when you're driving, you just feel like you're driving some kind of super fancy Tesla Model 3. So enough about the technical part. I guess you have already seen reviews about this car plenty of times. Uh, let's jump straight into the fun part because we are heading right now and, and we're gonna test these two cars on a drag race. So we arrived on this track to test these two cars on the 200 meter distance and we're going to be drag racing together with my fellow Stanislav and I think that in this distance Tesla is going to win Porsche but if we would drag race on 400 meter distance then Porsche would win Tesla and the reason is because Tesla is very fast when it comes from the 0 to 100 and Taycan is more powerful after 100 kilometers per hour because of its second gear. This is something new for me, I have never tried to drag race or do anything similar to this, so I'm a little bit nervous, do not judge me, I'm gonna try my best and let's start and see. Um, so for the first drag race I decided to try the Porsche Taycan, uh, because in, in order to start the first fast acceleration uh, I need to activate a launch control. Well, Tesla doesn't have it and Tesla is always ready to go and that's a big plus for Tesla. Uh, so in order to activate the launch control on the chrono wheel I need to activate uh, sport plus mode and I'm gonna see on the main panel that it's activated afterwards I need to uh, press the brake pedal all the way to the ground whilst holding brake pedal I need to um, push the acceleration pedal all the way to the ground and then when I'm ready I'm gonna just release the brake pedal and then the car is gonna start uh, to to move it's a little bit unusual, but yes, in order to be super fast with a Porsche Taycan at the start, you have to activate basically the launch control and it's going to be very interesting to test, test it out. Oh my gosh, not gonna lie, I'm a little bit nervous. Round one. Ah. Ты переживаешь? Немножко. Я тоже. Не переживай, все получится. Влево. Теслочка, не подведи. One, two, three. 
Чистая победа, я согласен. Чистая победа. Ты на старте ты меня сделал, но потом Порша пошел тебя. Класс. This is the third one. One one for now. I'm very curious who's gonna win this last third test. Готов? Готова? Ты готова? Готова, погнали. Тайкана как будто второе дыхание открывается. I actually thought that Tesla would win this drag race, but I mean Porsche is kind of winning 2-1 for now, right? Бля, у меня колодки дымят да, просто. Да, да, да. У меня просто дымят, у меня мы пиздаем, походу. Надо немножко по батарейке. Ну, пускай остынут, ёпту. <звук> да ну нахуй, они пизда, блядь. Ты чё? <звук> Подожди. Блядь. У меня колодки дымят, надо немножко паузу сделать. So we have to do a little break right now because Tesla's brakes are overheated and uh, literally vehicle told us on a, on a panel. Well, Steam Porsche is doing very well and Porsche is just so stable and everything is amazing with it. Для новичков, мне кажется, мы очень хорошо с тобой э, драгуем. Хорошо идет! No! Пошла, 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 Тесла рывок, а Тайкан сила. Ай-яй-яй. So, we're gonna test our car right now from zero to hundred. Uh, Draghi test, basically. First test 
we had a mistake we had miles not kilometers now we did set kilometers and uh, this is basically test two um launch control activated three two one Okay, we have basically test number three right now, um, from zero to 100. In terms of second, uh, launch control activated. Three, two, one. 60, 100. Okay, now we're gonna do the same exact test for Tesla, uh, zero to 100 in terms of seconds. So, um, three, two one wait something went wrong okay three two one. Oh my god oh, this 60 100 oh. now this car at the start it feels very powerful okay another test for tesla uh from zero to 100 um three two one So after testing this both vehicles from 0 to 100, Tesla did perform in 3.6 seconds, while Taycan was in 3.8 seconds. The difference is very tiny and Tesla was definitely winning from 0 to 100, but in the longer range, we saw that Porsche was performing a little bit better than Tesla. But I think overall, these both vehicles did perform very amazingly in this drag race. Um, but I would say that there was one thing about Tesla that we needed to do a little break because the brakes were overheating and there was also some kind of smell coming out. But Porsche didn't have any issues with the drag racing and it was just holding strong and holding stable. So it was a little downside from the Tesla. But again, overall, these both vehicles did amazing. And if we would drag race for 400 meters, I think that Porsche would be very far ahead compared to the Tesla. So after I had some time to think about which vehicle I should choose for myself, um, obviously I made the decision that I want to go with Porsche. Yes. And the reason why is because specifically after the track experience where we tested both cars, Porsche proved itself so well. Uh, brakes were working way better and the car it's on itself on the road was way more stable and was so solid compared to Tesla. And only because of this test, I managed to make um, my personal conclusion about these two cars. And obviously I couldn't resist it because it's also so pretty and so modern. But again, Tesla is an amazing car for its price. It's still, in my opinion, one of the best EVs out there for sure because of the technology. And it is just an amazing car regardless. Um, so yeah, but now I'm the owner of this beautiful Porsche and uh, I'm very excited to, to test it for a long period of time. And guys, please do not forget to put a like and maybe drop a comment on this video because this sort of video takes a lot of time, effort, and we did our hardest and our best to make this video uh, real. So we would really appreciate your like and comment. And if this video is gonna get a lot of engagement, we might make similar videos in the future. So please stay tuned.